Hey there guys, welcome to the next tutorial here on the channel and the last tutorial for back to school week here on the channel. I'm going to be making a few different cool things in this video to kind of show you guys some stuff that you can put into your binder for school. And uh, about a year ago, I think it was about a year ago, I did make a video kind of making like a binder page which you could put a whole bunch of different things into. I'll put the link in the description box to that video and that's kind of a cool uh, craft that has to do with back to school week but of course I've done it before so I didn't want to do it again. So let's uh, talk about just a few cool things that you can put into your binder that you can make out of duct tape here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually make a ruler out of duct tape. Now, of course, you could always carry like a craft ruler with you whenever you're in school, like in a backpack or a binder or something like that. But I'm actually going to show you how to make one out of duct tape. You can put actually inside your binder, and of course, it'll stay in there, and it's going to be you know, kind of a cool ruler to make. So I cut out two strips of tape that are nine inches long, and it's very important that you make these uh, strips exactly the same and exactly the same length and everything because we're talking about a ruler here so you want to make sure that's you know as identical as possible this is not something that you want to you know mess up otherwise it might not be perfect so we got about just about right about there that's about nine inches so that's going to work and I, I'm using my cutting mat to measure this as well as my ruler here my official ruler and it's a little bit perfect to the end here so I can cut a little bit of that off all right, now what I'm going to do is take a pen and I'm going to mark on my ruler all the inch marks, of course. And you can do this, you know, for the um, for the inch marks. You can do it for half an inch, a quarter of an inch, and of course, and you just you know mark these just with a pen, and then I'll number them right after this. To make sure that the pen doesn't come off, you can always take a piece of a, of a clear packaging tape and stick that on and that'll make sure that you know that it doesn't rub off or anything like that. It's a great way of making sure that all of your numbers and everything you write on the duct tape doesn't come off. So once you have your duct tape ruler made, we're actually going to stick it into our binder here. And have, I have a binder here and I'm going to open it and oops, I forgot I have my uh, this binder is actually in use. I save all of my uh, movie stubs here, so I'm going to move those out for a second. I'm going to move it over to my station. It's quite big, so it's kind of hard to maneuver here. And it's probably going to be smaller unless you made it, you know, probably like a whole foot uh, ruler. It's going to be a little bit smaller than the actual thing here. So all we want to do is kind of mark with a pen where we're going to make the, uh, the hole punch. So right about there and then right about here and make sure that they're lined up. This part isn't too important because it doesn't really interfere with the actual, you know, um, ruler piece. I'm gonna take a hole punch and I'm gonna punch that right there. Duct tape's a little bit tricky to, to use with a hole punch, but it should work out. You can always use, you know, a, a hobby knife or something like that. And then I'm gonna slide it right on and there I have my ruler. You do wanna make sure that it doesn't, you know, flex too much, so if you want to, you don't. You can kinda of like make the holes a little bit bigger because obviously that's gonna be a little bit different if it's flexing rather than if it's totally straight. Of course, you can always take it off and then, you know, use it like that as well. So you don't have to, you don't have to keep it inside your, uh, your binder here. All right, so the second thing I'm going to do is actually make a small pouch that can go into your binder. And I have a whole bunch of things that you could typically use like on a school day, you know, post-its, a few highlighters, a compass, uh, some graphite, and some erasers. I'm going to scoot those aside. I have about four strips of tape here that are 11 inches long. And the total height of my binder is about a foot. So I want to make it a little bit smaller so that it'll fit in without any trouble. So that's why these are 11 inches. I'm going to take my first two. And I'm going to stick them directly on top of each other. And these strips are peeling up my entire map because they're pretty long. So I'm going to stick those right on top. Take my third one. And something just fell off. I'm going to take the, your third piece and kind of overlap by a little bit. And I'm going to take my fourth piece. And I'm probably going to take at least two more pieces and kind of expand these as far as I can go. And then I'll make a good pouch for, for the other piece here. So I'm gonna take two more strips, put one here and then one on the other side and cover up the rest of the sticky side for a nice sheet. All right, so after I made this piece here, I actually took eight strips of tape, four on this side, four on the other side, and made a slightly larger sheet in a different color, obviously. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to seal both of these together. I'm gonna to put this one on top because it's a lot more colorful. It's gonna look really cool. And I'm going to seal up the bottom and the side up to right about there and there. And then this is simply going to fold over and be part of the, uh, the pouch here. So I'm gonna take a few strips of tape of the graffiti tape and I'm seal up the bottom and the two sides up to there and to there. Now once I've sealed up the sides and the bottom, I'm gonna take two pieces of Velcro and these will serve as my, 
you know, way of closing the flap up top here. So I'm going to stick those down and then close it just like this and stick those down. And once those are on there nice and tight, it's a good way of closing it. I can also just kind of round the edges of here a little bit to make it look a little more stylish, you know, just not quite as, as pointed. Scissors would work really well for this, but I'm just deciding to use the, uh, the hobby knife a little bit. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is throw a few things in there, see if they fit, of course. And then we're going to mark and punch the holes for it. So I got all those in and all nice and sealed up. All right, so to punch the holes for it, take everything out. Kind of just empty it out onto your, your workstation here. Once again, we're going to bring in the binder. And this is going to be really simple. We're just going to mark where the, uh, the three rings are. Make sure they're all roughly, you know, vertically the same uh, place as well. Don't go too far into your, your uh, you know, your um, kind of your pocket here. Otherwise, it'll kind of affect, you know, how much you're able to put into it. But you also don't want to make it, like, really close to the edge. Otherwise, it kind of runs the risk of, you know, ripping out. So I'm going to take my hole puncher once again. Come down here towards the bottom. This one's going to be a little bit trickier just because, you know, there's uh, two layers or sometimes four layers of duct tape to punch through. But we'll see if I can get through all three of them without too much trouble here seems to be working out and there we go so now I'm going to pop the other uh, binder open right there there and there I was a little off on that last one but of course you can just repunch the hole and then of course you know you, once you uh, close your binder that's gonna go right there and then everything's gonna be thrown inside it and there you have a really cool kind of a giant pouch you can put inside your binder so, really hope you guys like this video on making a duct tape ruler and putting that into your school binder as well as putting a giant pouch where you can put everything into it. Uh, once again, a million and one different ways of customizing this just like the pencil pouch that we made yesterday on the channel. And that's going to wrap up back to school week here on the on the other channel. So, hope you guys like the videos and uh, have fun at school. Hope you guys make a whole bunch of really cool things that you can use at school for this year. So, have fun and good luck.